what's up guys, it's you and welcome back to episode number 60 of Pokemon Showdown Live and uh, we're going to be using the same Mega Gyarados Hyper Offense team that we were in the previous episode that we recorded with Brendan. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab a match. Uh, we actually broke 1500 in the last episode, which is pretty cool. Um, so hopefully we can continue our little streak of success that we've been having. But uh, anyway, this looks like a pretty cool team. Um, he's probably Mega Gardevoir. Um, I'd imagine SD Rocks Chomp and Gar DD Gyarados. Um, I don't know what scissor spread he'd be though, so I'm gonna go and lead Skarmory as um, we'll see what he decides to lead with. I'm really expecting him to lead with uh, Garchomp, so that is the only thing that gets rocks on his team, but you know. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised if he led with Jolteon, predicting Skarmory, because Skarmory is one of two things that gets. Uh, uh, rocks on my team. He ends up leading with uh, Gardevoir though, which is fine. Um, I kind of want to taunt turn one, but I'm just going to go ahead and get my rocks up, because if he taunts me, I'll be pretty surprised. Um, because, you know, they do run taunt, but it's not super common or anything. As uh, I actually outspeed him the first turn as he hits me with a Hyper Voice, which does a lot of damage. And uh, I can just go ahead and get a spike up this turn as um, he it has a Defogger and Scizor, but I'm faster than it, which is nice. And I actually outsped him there, which is weird. So, since that hits 262, this hits 239. This may not outspeed. Um, but I think that's really my only option to go into this and hope it outspeeds. Um, it will kind of suck if I have to take a large dent um, to one of my Mons early on in the game. But, uh, especially by Sharp, because by Sharp can just put in a ton of work versus his team, but we'll see what he decides to do. He looks almost like kind of trick roomish, judging by the fact that, um, okay, so he, he goes out into Garchomp right here. We'll see what he decides to do as, uh, he is a Rocky Helmet. That's kind of annoying. Um, but I'm just going to stay in a knockoff because I don't think he's going to EQ. I think he's going to try to get his rocks up to maybe force me to defog with my own Latias. And uh, to be honest, it's just not worth switching anything, switching into anything and taking the risk because, um, yeah, so he just ends up going straight away for the uh, stealth rocks right there, which is fine. Um, I can sucker punch, but uh, it's going to bring me down to like 30% after... Uh, rough skin, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, it's it's more just annoying than it is actually an issue. Um, is he just ends up going for toxic, which is fine. So he's kind of an interesting spread. I'm just gonna keep clicking sucker though. Um, I don't really think I have a whole lot of reason not to click sucker. Um, and plus, I think he's within sludge wave range after. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I think he's within sludge wave range after he comes back in with Mega Gardevoir. So that's nice. And uh, if not, I can just like T wave and uh, help weaken him that way, which will be very, very nice and uh, pretty beneficial for me. So I think what he's going to go out into is his conk because, yeah, he ends up going out into conk, which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to get sucker punch damage off. Uh, as I think he'll mock punch, and, you know, it's only going to do like. 20% what like tops but uh you know that 20% could come in handy later and it also gives me a pretty good switch out into my Latias and uh, I can just fire off a side shock when I go out into that and uh, hopefully put a nice dent into something on his team so that actually does 30% as he goes for the mock punch I was kind of hoping uh, that he would go for the mock punch rather than the dra rather than the drain punch because um, otherwise I would have looked stupid and I uh, should have clicked Iron Head in that scenario because I could have gotten the chance to flinch, but uh, you know, ended up making the right play, and I can just go into my Latias right here. His Conk Elder will die to the Psy Shock right here, um, although I am just expecting him to switch out into his Sizzle right here. Um, and he is using this kind of Garavire ish combination from. Uh, although he's using Jolteon instead, which is fine. Uh, we'll see how much his Psy Shock does. Um, that did 23%. Um, Draco is going to do like 40, I think. Um, yeah, probably 40. Um, let's see, what do I got into here? At plus one, I think Gyarados just, like, clean sweeps him. So that's nice. Um, is Gyarados still my best play? Gyarados still may be my best play. Uh, I'm just gonna go out into Gyarados right here. Um, hopefully he doesn't, although he's probably just gonna U-turn, which is kinda lame. Uh, because then I lose out on any initiative that I would have and then Jolteon comes in and that's a problem but uh, hopefully he like knocks off um, 
Because he ends up going for the roost, which is fine. Um, because this gives me an opportunity to uh, dragon dance straight up versus him. And uh, we'll see what he decides to do right here. I kind of want to just fire off a waterfall. Which I think I'm going to do instead. I think that is my better play. We'll see if uh, Showdown lets me do that. Uh, I probably dragon danced, didn't I? Did I dragon dance? I dragon danced. Okay. This isn't all bad. Uh, I'm just going to DD again. Because um, I think that is my best play. Because now I'll be like super fast. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what he uh, has for me right here. If he reveals like T Wave, he's a, an absolute god. Like he, he is like a god walking among mortals. If he, if he reveals T Wave, if he's like T Wave Dragon Tail, so he ends up just dragon dancing alongside me, which is fine. I'm just gonna Mega Evolve, go straight away for the Crunch. S plus one Crunch will do a lot uh, right here. Am I Adamant or am I Jolly? I feel like Gyarados hits 400 attack. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check another time, because I don't want to, like, put in a blue box again over my LBA teams. Um, but I end up getting that crunch off, and that just annihilates him right there. Um, I think bullet punch plus crunch, or bullet punch plus mock punch uh, will be able to kill me if that's what he does want to do on his side. Um, although, Gyarados is looking pretty potent at this point, especially since it is plus one, and it, is, it does outrun his entire team, even if he is... Um, Scarf, or no, no never mind. <laughs> Even if he is Timid Jolteon, I still outrun him. That's what I was trying to say. Um, although, this Mach Punch may just take me out. Like, I, I'm not that bulky. I'm bulky, but I'm not that bulky. Um, we'll have to see, though. It'll be interesting. Um, Mach Punch did 43%, so this may be just like straight up a Gyarados sweep, unless he's like Scarf Jolteon. And if you Scarf Jolteon, then you, sir, are a lord, second only to Hipster Hypno. Um, for running Scarf Jolteon to just outrun everything. Gotta go fast. Um, so, his Scizor is right here. Um, Waterfall is my better play, probably, because I have the chance to flinch if I don't just straight up kill him. Uh, although, I do think this will knock him out. Uh, and uh, even if it doesn't, then I think I still have the game in the bag, to be honest. Um, because Gyarados has done its work. It uh, tanked that Mach Punch actually a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to do like upwards of 50%, like 60%. Wow, he lived. Flinch. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, like he uh, was still gonna win with Gar plus Lottie. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so he, he's kind of like salty about that and like I can I, I get that I see where you're coming from but um I don't think it mattered because to be honest he, like he was just gonna get blown back by Lottie Ospel's Gengar which is actually really nice so um I think we may have time for one more I gotta get going in like an hour but like I'm already almost dressed I've already showered and stuff so that'll be nice um basketball game time so that should be fun anyway um We'll see what he decides to Jolteon with Specs and Shadow Ball. You don't kill Thundy. Alright, so we're just going to pause it and wait for this guy to make his move. We'll be right back. Alright, uh, I'm back. And he went out in a Jolteon, but I'm just clicking Waterfall. Um... So even though he did have like spec shadow ball waiting in the back, um, I don't think he kills Thundee, and um, like it, it really depends on what he was gonna go out to, to be honest. But I like I, I still think I could have won the game because, like, I don't know, it would have been interesting. But you know we never got to see the end of that one. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and grab one more after this because uh, it is the weekend. I do kind of want to make my lives a little longer. Um, like 16 minutes, 17 minutes, as opposed to like 10 flat, because then it's just like, really, was it worth it? But, <laughs> um, I'm excited for the OBA. Hopefully that video is up by now, because I haven't had time to make it yet. I'm going to try to make it tonight after I get back from my basketball game, but I'm going for crunch right here, finish it off or ass style with the new moves, and uh, we're going to go, what? Look at this, like, next level thinking. We're clicking looking for battle, or we're clicking look for battle. So then uh, we say GG to him, close out of this battle, and we pop right into right into a new one, if I could have connected by then. That would have been really cool. That would have been just, like, perfect timing. But, you know, some things don't work out as much as others do. So, um, are, are we really going to have to pause it for, like, the second time in, like, a minute? Nope, got him. Okay, 
Uh, I may have hit Breloom Lover forever. Um, on the ladder, which would be pretty cool. Um, because I know, like, that is his last initial right there. Um, well, anyway, we'll see. Hopefully, wow, the internet is just like, let me lag real quick. Um, this looks very chimpacty again. Um, probably nasty pass into this, or into that, which would be just terrifying. Never mind, this isn't Brandon. SMH. I'm gonna go and lead Skarm. Um, I also have no checks to Mega Pincer. Ah, never mind. I have a Mega Pincer check. It's not a problem. Um, I like his team. Uh, he has this, which is like a pretty good soft check to uh, Thundee, as long as he's running some but F and like some bulk. And honestly, Thunderous just like tears through his team, but he ends up leading with Landorus, which isn't a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get my Stealth Rocks up, as I expect him fully to just Stealth Rock right here. Um, he could Calm Mind, which would be bad. Um, if he Calm Minds, that actually is an issue. That's troubling. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and assume he's not going to Calm Mind, though, which is kind of dumb. Actually, he doesn't. That's nice. Um, so I can actually Taunt right here and stop him. He doesn't have Hazard Removal. Well, isn't that kind of disappointing? Um, I kind of expect him to get his rocks up here so that he can uh, try to force me to defog later because I do have two rocks weak things, but I'm more than likely not going to defog because getting off like 37.5% on pincer the turn it comes in is nice as he can't go for the thunder wave. So that is two spikes for me guaranteed unless he gets like the burn with fire blast, which I'd be pretty disappointed about. But considering he has revealed the Brazilian Clefable, I highly doubt he has fire blast because he's more than likely just like soft boiled heal bell to keep Mega Pincer healthy and Keldeo. Um, rocks maybe? and Moonblast, so that's going to be nice. It looks like I'm going to get all my uh, hazards up this battle, which uh, will make things a lot easier, to be honest, because um, that just makes it that much easier for Thunderous to kind of plow through his team whenever I want to. He's more than likely Scarf Tar to, to trap the Lotties, um, because uh, throwing it back to some old cores that used this combo right here, uh, Tar, Lando, Keldeo. And uh, right here, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird, because I don't want him setting up a, a sub, if that's what he chooses to do. And I don't really lose anything by going for Brave Bird. I already have two hat I already have two layers of spikes and my Stealth Rocks up. So it's like, if I don't get any hazards, it's not a deal breaker. I just need to... And he's also sub Calm Mind, because he got leftovers, right? Did I misread that he got leftovers? Oh, I should probably scroll down. Wait, I am. What the heck? Um... Never mind, he's probably Specs, but I'm just going to Brave Bird just in case, um, because I do want, I'm going to go ahead and set the timer, because I do want him to, uh, like, <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, basically, when I leave the field, I want him to not have a sub, and if that means going for Brave Bird and uh, losing out on a spike, then so be it, and I think if, uh, I think if he just knocks this out with the fighting move, I can go out into Gengar and uh, take it on there because I don't want to go straight out into uh, Latias because Latias is a little bit more important for me in this battle because it is faster than Mega Pincer and forces it to quick attack. Well, also so does Gengar, but Gengar is frailer. Um, although Gengar does actually put in a lot of work, just things with like um, fighting coverage do a very good job versus his team but ultimately thunderous is the win condition so uh main goal is to keep that healthy if i can do that then i think my chances are pretty good um on winning this battle um but he's just gonna withdraw keldeo and go straight into titar which is easy this is gonna do that did 21 percent. that's nice actually um because i can just get a spike up right here or i can taunt him if i think he's rocks he could be rocks um, not gonna lie, him not having rocks would be nice, as, but he just goes for the fire blast, so good thing I didn't have time to cancel that, um, and I can just go straight into Bisharp right here, I think, considering I highly doubt he's, like, Jolly Tar, and, uh, I can just go for the Iron Head and get a good chunk of damage off, because Keldeo will be taking 37.5% next time it does switch in, uh, just from the spikes alone, and then, like, 43 when you factor in rocks, so, even if I go for the Iron Head right here, uh, he's going to be hopefully in sucker punch range, which is like 30% I think and 
if I can put him in Sucker Punch range, then I think I have a pretty good chance. Uh, like, even if he's not in Sucker Punch range, I can just go out into Lottie again because he is taking more and more residual damage having to switch around. And that's the great thing about uh, Hyper Offense with Hazards, especially when you have Skarmory that has the ability to get, like, uh, Stealth Rocks and a Spike Up, is that it puts a lot more pressure on grounded teams and he does go out into Landorus right here which is pretty cool as that did 55% um <sighs> kinda wanna go out into Gengar uh predicting him to earth power <sighs> see my only worry is that I go for the knockoff here as he goes for earth power and I'm put in a very bad position cause he does have although Tar's not Scarf I'm clicking knockoff. He's going for stuff. No, never mind. He has a. Please let me. Please let me do this. Please let me do this. Please let me do this. Come on now. Come on, showdown. Uh, lag check. Okay. Never mind. I made the right play. <laughs> um, so I do end up getting rid of his Landorus, which is actually pretty nice because it puts a lot less strain on my Latios. Latios, rather, throughout the battle. And uh, now I think I have the rest of his sets figured out. He's Scarf Keldeo with. Uh, nasty pass Celebi so that he can uh, trap he can trap stuff like um, Latias and make it a lot easier for the rest of the team but I'm just gonna go out into my Latias right here because even if he does go out into a uh, Titar I can knock it out with a Draco from this range so it becomes a lot easier for the rest of my team to function and um, I don't really lose anything by going for um, Sashok shock because as I said, I knocked Titar out with Draco, and overall, I think I have this battle in the bag unless I choke it away in just a horrible manner. Um, I do need to keep Thunderous healthy, so Thunderous cannot touch the field until Mega Pinsir is on the field, um, because Mega Pinsir is a huge threat to this team, and Thunderous is a really, really soft check to bird spam. It's not always the uh, best thing to have when you're facing... It's not the best check out there to bird spam, but if you went for Icy Wind, he's a lord. He goes for Hydro and misses, which is a little bit unfortunate for him. But uh, I can just go straight away for the Psy Shock. I was like this close to clicking Defog, but I didn't. Um, I would I would be so disappointed if I accidentally defogged away Hazards. Um, he could go into... Actually, he doesn't have a lot of, whole lot of safe switches in a lottie at this point in the match. He ends up going out into T-Tar, uh, which is fine, because I can just go for the Draco, and as long as I don't miss, I'm good. Um, and I don't think, like, I know for a fact he's not Scarf, because Skarmat's about him, and, um, hmm, I, is he, like, AV Tar or something? I'm trying to figure out what item on T-Tar, because we didn't see lefties. Um, he's probably AV Tar, because he wouldn't be CB Tar with, uh, Fire Blast, that just, that just wouldn't make a lot of sense. Unless you want to get the <laughs> Choice Banded Fire Blast going. Um, regardless, though, uh, I'm kind of expecting him to go out into Celebi right here. And if he does, I'm going straight out into Buy Sharp. Uh, or he could go out into Clef, in which case I'm just going to Buy Sharp again. He goes out into Pinsir right here. And I'm just going to click Draco again. Um, because I don't think I lose anything by it. Um, he's more than likely Hyper Cutter, which is actually really nice on Mega Pinsir. Because you... Like, if a Lando T switches in, it takes, like, 60% as opposed to 40. And he actually lives right there, which is a little disappointing, but dies to his own sand. So, um, that's gonna about wrap this one up. Uh, although Latios is kind of weak, um, it actually doesn't matter when facing Keldeo. Because Keldeo will take, like, 40-some percent, and everything is in range of by sharp at this point. So I thought those were actually two pretty good games, um... It was a little bit unfortunate we had to see the crit in the first match, but I thought this was actually a really nice game. Um, I'm going straight out in a buy sharp. Actually, no, nah, I'm just going to Gengar uh, because he'll probably just like recover right here, and I can just click Sludge Wave, and it'll be over. So yeah, as I said, I thought these were two very very nice games. Um, I'm glad I'm like finally playing on par. Last week was bad. This week's a lot better. And, uh, what did he go for? He went for Calm Mind. It's too easy. He's still dying to the Sludge Wave. Um, especially, like, judging by the fact he's at 57%. Like, I don't think even, like, Max Spadef. Well, Max Spadef could probably live one at plus one. But 
is not going to do a whole, whole lot for him. Um, yeah, he just goes down there. So we'll see if he's Scarf Keld right here, although I'm almost 100% sure he is because, um, like, he hasn't, like, outsped anything, but it just makes sense with his team. But he just ends up forfeiting. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video um oh are we gonna wait for this guy no never mind uh, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video which is um let's see hmm i actually don't know uh okay we'll, we'll do this um so there have been some pretty successful cores and pathogens that have worked really well uh such as like on offense gengar and by sharp work the next y and uh in gen 5 before before the lander is i band you had a uh, scarf tar plus Landorus, plus Keldeo. Um, what old cores worked a lot for you guys in uh, in this gen? I, I need team, team building ideas. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.